Oh yeah. There's two Mojave rattlesnakes. And then here's that one. Two little. Let us know that we're you know, full of it because she has seen a Mojave rattlesnake chase somebody in a Jeep. People that just lie. So people ask why we have all of these snakes in all these boxes. Well, it's not just for fun. Um, we do a lot of education work with these animals. So that's one of the things I'm doing today is I'm going to take the animals that can be found here in Cave Creek, Arizona, talk to some residents that live here about the animals they might see in their own backyard. They can learn something about it and maybe in the future we'll be less scared of it or less likely to cut its head off. So these animals are very important to do that kind of work. So now I'm gonna get all those snakes into these little boxes which they're fine with, and uh, get ready for the event. All right, I'm all packed up. I brought a few rattlesnakes, all the ones that can be found here, and they're sitting comfortably in the back of my car. Yeah, I, I usually have a rattlesnake in my car when I'm driving around. That's just how my life is. Hey everybody, Jeff here. I'm going to a local airport where there are two rattlesnakes stuffed up into an electrical shed or building or something like that. That'll be fun. So it's no surprise to me that that's happening in November, which it is now. It's basically almost winter. We've had a couple cold snaps already where it's been in the 30s or 40s at night. That's like a perfect den situation for a rattlesnake, or so they think, because it's a nice temperature regulated spot. So it looks like it's kind of a construction site for the airport. But it makes sense. I mean, you got all this desert all around that's being freshly plowed. In this part of town, there's a lot of Mojave rattlesnakes, and that's gonna be really interesting to relocate if that's the case, just because all their habitat's just getting demolished out here. If it's a diamondback, it might be a little bit easier because they're a little bit more generalists, but we'll see, it'll be interesting. Both of them are out here, so. The guy's coming on a backhoe, I guess. Just gotta follow this guy in. Oh, so in there. He's inside. This yeah. will be interesting. So when I first opened it this morning, because I gotta cut my trench in and tie into this thing. Okay. I opened it up and he was actually coiled up right here by the latch release. Okay. So there's two of them? There's two, yeah. Okay. Well, he didn't make it back up there. Well, that's good. Oh, yeah. There's one down there. Yeah, I, I, I see him. There's uh, yeah, the other one's in the corner there. There's two Mojave rattlesnakes. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. All right. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get, can I stand on these? Um, you can, they're not 100% stable. They, they just okay. kinda set in there and lock in a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put this down here. Watch that little over here he's been real active yeah that looks like there's the that's the dude and that's his that's oh, his uh okay. lady friend looks like they probably just fell in here at some point and then yeah i'm thinking the only other thing is that maybe they traveled from a different handhole oh that's through that because that one was popped out was it? that's the only one that spent that was open and they could have traveled through that conduit okay yeah, no. we got into this handhole uh, about a month ago when we first started the job. Okay. And um, they, uh, this thing was empty. There was nobody in here. Was there? So. Okay, there's that one. And then, whew. Okay. And then there's that one. Two little. Yeah, she was aggressive. Yeah, she's, she's pissed. <laughs> kind she, of was, the, she was the one that was up in the up in the hand like up on the latch. Yeah, let's see if I can let me get that lid on and see if I can get that toe down too. Might as well. Yeah. Doing a little Spider-Man thing here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. No, no, it's good. I appreciate you guys coming out. No, yeah, you bet. This is all good. All G good for me. GC solution was, oh, uh, make them disappear. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm like, I don't like killing shit. But yeah, I, I appreciate to. that. Uh, <laughs> I just want to make sure there's. I want to get that toad, but I want to make sure there's not like another. <laughs> right, snake. another snake? Yeah, I don't think there is. I'm going to close that up. So, I mean, I'm sure it's fine. I just don't want to grab another. Careful. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I don't want to open that bucket right now. No, I don't blame you. <laughs> Do my hobby, rattlesnakes. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. I'm good. Can't really get out. It's just, yeah, they're grumpy. All right. Just as I <laughs> had feared, they are Mojave rattlesnakes. So what that's going to do is it's going to make my release procedure a little bit more complicated in that I need to find habitat that's not going to be bulldozed. Flat habitat is perfect for development. Developers want to develop on flat ground because they don't have to blast through mountains or anything like that. And that is where sidewinders and Mojave rattlesnakes live. So it's really, really hard on those species. Sidewinders and Mojave rattlesnakes are by no means rare or endangered, but it's really, really hard on them when their habitat is being bulldozed constantly. A little bit interesting, there's that random manhole there in the middle of nowhere. And I wish I had the backstory. I wish I got to see how those Mojaves got there. Nobody knows, obviously, but it's really interesting. I don't know if they fell in at some point when it was open. I don't know if they got it through those pipes like those guys said. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. So now what I need to do is I finally got out into some good desert. I just need to find a little spot where there's some underground access in some of these thickets here. And they will do just fine provided the land isn't bought up and developed overnight like things tend to happen sometimes. <laughs> Neither of them want anything to do with me, but look at those Mojave rattlesnakes. Those are some nice looking snakes. They're all muddy because they were in that pit, but that young one is really nice. Oh, geez. Okay. This thing is not. Okay, here we go. Go ahead. Down in there. Now you'll rattle at me. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. Two Mojave rattlesnakes. Alright, there you go. Uh, they will be just fine in here. Mojave rattlesnakes are flat creosote type desert animals. And there aren't big rock structures for them to den in, just naturally. So they use these really deep pack rat middens where they can get in deep. And then I got a little toad. Looks like a little baby Sonoran desert toad. And I think it's gonna do just fine in here as well. Better than in that manhole. All right, nice little unexpected November call. So I was actually editing video and Marissa texted, anybody want a Mesa call? Because she and Nick are pretty far away. Ah, why not? I'll do it. So this is a good and fitting and healing end to the day that I'm gonna go and do this put out some information about Mojave rattlesnakes today. I know that's always asking for it because people love, they love to believe just complete nonsense about Mojave rattlesnakes. Somebody that popped in our page today to let us know that we're you know, full of it because she has seen a Mojave rattlesnake chase her on horseback and chase somebody in a Jeep. Imagine that, a rattlesnake chasing somebody in a vehicle. <laughs> And I, I just can't wrap my head around why people need that. Um, there's there's things that could be a misconception where you just think you maybe saw one thing, but the context is is missing, so you don't necessarily know what you're looking at. I get that. That's fine. But there's people that just lie. 
about these things. They lie and then they'll stick to it. Um, I, I just don't understand it. So I'm glad that I get to, after a day of stuff like that, go and talk to a bunch of people that are showing up to learn and maybe just kind of give me a little bit of restored faith in what we're doing. All right, done with that. Had a pretty good turnout, a lot of good questions, and I personally just really enjoy doing that kind of work. I mean, you know, when we're talking with people online or any of the work we're doing, we're just trying to get anybody that can, or anybody that's willing to, to, well, to hear us, to open up, maybe open up to changing their mind about rattlesnakes. So it can be, very centering and a good experience to just occasionally talk to a whole bunch of people that just by the fact that they are in the room at all are saying, yes, I would like to hear about this and maybe I don't know everything about the topic. What do you have to say? I'm gonna go home, get something to eat, grab a beer, and uh, maybe I'll sleep in tomorrow. Or maybe I'll go look for snakes.